Hi everybody, Emily Schemmel here for Hip Kit Club and this uh, week I am using the February Hip Kits and they are absolutely stunning and I'm taking part in the recipe challenge and for this recipe we had to use three different pattern papers we had to have circles on our layout there had to be a big title and hidden journaling so I started by selecting my paper I love that wood grain effect from the hip kit exclusive and I chose to do a lot of layering with my pink fresh studio paper at first I was going to go for the echo park paper which has all the circles but I thought that was a bit of um, of a shortcut that I didn't want to take to include my circles and my uh, free pattern papers so I went for the wood I went for the uh, pink fresh studio that you see here which I'm cutting carefully with my craft knife and I also went for for another echo pack paper the one that has all those super cute rainbows and you'll see that later i wanted to frame my white cardstock with the wood grain uh, paper but i didn't want to mount it on to the wood grain as i would normally do i just decided to do the opposite and have the wood grain as an actual frame and have it on top of my pattern paper so i carefully measure and cut my paper I made all the marks on the back so that I'm sure there's no uh, black dots showing onto the uh, the side that is actually going to be on show and I'm mounting it with double sided sticky foam pad I'm now playing with all the layering of my photograph and how I want to have that pen paper showing onto my layout. I'm quite happy with having something quite uh, central and square and I'm sticking it as I see that you know I'm pleased with the position and I'm making sure though that when I stick the big pink square I create a pocket so I can place my hidden journaling in there later on. For my hidden journaling, I decided to go with one of the Pocket Life Kit cards, uh, one of the longer one. And this one was perfect because I could trim the blue part around it so it would fit inside the pocket. It had a white space at the top so I could fit a sticker on it and make it stand out a little bit more as perhaps something that can pull out. Once I'm happy with how it fits, I just leave it, carry on with doing my layout. I'll come back to my journaling later as I like to do my journaling at the end of my layout. It kind of is a finishing touch for me and it's kind of that psychological thing that it's once the journaling goes down, um, my layout is, is finished and, and I'm fairly happy with it. I'm fussing some of the rainbows and um, this is a way to a, have my third pattern paper but it's it's also super cute and I love that effect and that design the colors go so well where throughout the whole kit it work all so well together and um, even though they are different brands I'm really loving that about this kit and yeah I've uh, once I'm happy with them rainbows I'm sticking my photo with double-sided sticky foam pads and then I'll place my rainbows um, around that area for my big title i chose to use that big life word uh, from the um, simple stories pack i think it's quite big and i love the colors and it really gave me um i don't know i just love the feel of it i love the the look of it and also it went well with the the story i wanted to tell for my circle it, the perfect thing that was in the package there's quite a few chipboard elements that are 
um, circles. So in the kit you've got those pink fresh and you've got some simple stories that are circles. And I simply take these and these will be the circles to complete that recipe challenge. I felt that the layout needed a balance of the rainbows so I cut out three more rainbows that I'm going to balance out by putting them on the right hand side of my layout. It will visually help to, yeah, to balance out the rainbows on the left and make it all a bit more coherent but also a bit more visually pleasing. I wanted to complete my title. I knew that I didn't want to just stick to life, but I wanted to grow the wording in my head. And by that time, once I've added the rainbow, I knew that I wanted to have my title as Life Worth Living. And those little letters from Pink Fresh Studio were absolutely perfect to fit underneath. The colors match uh, brilliantly with every element on the layout. And also the size was just perfection to fit under that layout. I also wanted to have a bit of a cascading element underneath. I have seen that around on several layout lately and it's something that I wanted to try for myself. I'm usually more of a cluster kind of scrapbooker and I thought that was a look I wanted to try out. And this is what I decided to do with that bit of pen paper from Big Fresh Studio. The saying on it was perfect for what I wanted to say on my layout. Um, it's a layout about a place and not about Sophia for a change. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to make it all work together. I accentuated that cascading kind of effect by adding even more circles in the form of the sticky brad by Simple Stories. I'm not a brad person normally, but I find those brads so easy to use because they are sticky. And if you're not quite happy with the placement of it, you can always carefully unstick it and move it around. And this is something that I really like, whereas with um, the old fashioned uh, brads, you had to make a hole in your layout and that was it. I then wrote my journaling as I usually do with my stamps and I hid it back behind the photo. I added a little few touches of doodles, very small and a few splatters of black just to add a little bit of contrast to my layout and there I was happy. I just happened to make a little tiny mistake ended up with a bit of ink on one of the Simple Stories chipboard and I didn't like that it looked messy so I just changed it around and it still worked fine. I hope you guys enjoyed that video, I hope that you've seen a few tips and tricks that um, you enjoyed and please don't hesitate to leave any comment or any message and thank you very very much for watching bye